it's happening again. The Animator Guild Short Film Contest 2023 is now open for you to register. This is a non-profit event hosted by AnimatorGuild.com. The contest is 100% free to enter. Contestants have 10 months to create an animation of one minute or more in length. It doesn't matter what your age is, what your background is, your experience level. If you make a film that meets the criteria of the contest, your film will be shown to thousands of people right here on this channel at the live premiere in 2023. In this video, I will lay out how to participate, the rules, the criteria, the prizes to be won, and some extra tips on making your film. How to participate. Step one, you have to register that you are going to make a film. Go to animatorguild.com forward slash contest and add your name and email address and if you want to, any of your social media so that we can promote you later on. Registration will be open from now until December 1st, 2022. Step two is the most challenging step. This is, of course, to make your film. We have a lot of resources to help you with this though, such as the Animators Checklist PDF, the Animator Guild Community Discord server, a global Discord community of animators for you to connect with, and a variety of training courses in 2D animation if you would like to take them. Step three, once you have made your film and you are happy with it, submit your film on animatorguild.com forward slash contest. The same page that you used to register, it will be changed. It will now be a submission form where you can upload your animation. The submissions portal will appear on this page on April the 15th. And that submissions portal will stay open until June the 15th. And that will be at midnight GMT. Step four of this process, tune in to the live online premiere right here on YouTube, on this YouTube channel on July the 15th. Make sure you turn on notifications so that you remember. We are also going to try screening the premiere in VR chat. So we're gonna have a virtual reality screening of this premiere at the same time. So there will be more information released on that, but you will be able to attend sort of in person but in VR which I think will be really interesting and really fun. Now that you have the instructions let's move on to the rules. Your film has to be between 1 and 10 minutes in length. I recommend keeping it as short as you can so that you can focus on quality over quantity. The film needs to be original, it can't have copyright problems, you can't use copyrighted music, you can't use copyrighted characters and things. Your animation needs to be deemed suitable for a teenage audience. So if you are unsure of whether your film is suitable for a teenage audience, you can watch our previous film contests and see the films in there as an example. You can also direct message myself or one of the moderators in the Animator Guild's Discord community to ask us and have a conversation about whether your film is suitable for a teenage audience or not. Now let's talk about the judging criteria. This is the criteria that myself and the judges use to rank each of these animation submissions and decide on the winner. The six criteria are art, animation, originality, entertainment, story, and sound. So to be in with the best chance to win, you need to make your film with these categories in mind. Here are the prizes to be won by the top three ranked animation films. The winner will receive a one-of-a-kind Champion Animated Guild hoodie. Lifetime access to future Animated Guild digital products and courses. The winner will also have some kind of feature on this YouTube channel in the form of a video or a podcast feature and tablets. There will be more details released on what specific tablets those are and uh, that will be updated later on. The most important prize of all is bragging rights. It's the pride in knowing that you made your own film and you came out on top. That is a huge achievement and it's worth talking about. It looks great on your resume and your list of qualifications and credentials. It's something to be proud of. Even if you don't win, your animation will be put on a global stage and will be seen by thousands of other people. You will have made something and shown it to the world. The judges will watch and review your animation and that feedback can be very valuable, not only to your self-improvement, but also your self-esteem perhaps. Your animation will only really complete its life cycle once it's been shown in front of an audience. 
And it's not all about the destination, it's also about the journey. I know that sounds corny, but it's true. The number of friends I've met from hosting these contests has been so valuable and it's been such a great experience and it will be a great experience for you as well. You're gonna meet so many other animators in the Discord community while you're making this film and we all struggle together on this. I am making a film at the same time as this contest, as the entrants are. Of course, I'm not going to submit a film to my own contest, but I am working on a film, so I am also gonna be live streaming in the Discord at different times. We all do this together, and it's a community where you can look to either side of yourself and see other animators making their films, and then we all watch them together. It's a fantastic community experience and I want you to be part of it as well. This contest will inevitably lead to some great connections being made in this new generation of animators. Here are some tips to get you started on animating your entry for this contest. There's a starting point I would recommend looking back through your ideas that you've had this past year. Hopefully you wrote them down. I recommend that you download the animators checklist PDF. This is a short booklet that I wrote, which is a checklist that you can tick off of the different parts of the animation process. It will make sure that you've created a well-rounded film, and it's also really nice to just have a starting point so that it's not so overwhelming when you're coming into this contest. For my next tip, I would say to plan ahead for this coming year. You will have 10 months from the start of this contest, right? That is more than enough time to create a short film of a minute or more in length. But you don't want to leave it all to the last minute. Do you have exams coming up in the year? Do you have work commitments? Are you traveling at all? Strategize how you can work around these things so that your film still gets made in the time that's allotted. Don't leave things until the last minute. You want this film to be something you're proud of Remember that the film lasts forever. Hopefully you want to have it finished ahead of time so that you can make those last finishing touches that you want to add to it. Now speaking of finishing touches, don't neglect the sound. <laughs> so many filmmakers neglect their sound and it really affects the experience that we have when we watch it, the film. Some of the contestants don't add sound and you really notice it when it's not there. And sound can be tricky to get right and it might require you to actually step outside of animation and collaborate with people who know what they're doing with sound. This could be voice actors, be music composers, sound designers, and this takes communication, it takes time, so don't leave it till the last minute. We accept films of all ability levels, but if you're looking for comprehensive training, I offer a full online course for beginners called Getting Started in 2D Animation. It builds your animation skills from the ground up, teaching you not only how to animate, but also how to draw and how to direct films. And these are really important lessons for if you're making a narrative short film for this contest. And for those of you who have already gotten to grips with the basics, I offer a more advanced course in animation called Mastering Motion. So you can find both of those courses on animatorguild.com. Now within those 10 months, there's enough time to build and improve your animation skills as well as create your film if you choose to be dedicated and work really hard and smart on this. I will leave you with a question for you. Is this going to be your year? Are you gonna grab this year by the, is this going to be a year where you finally make that film you've always wanted to make? The perfect time for you to make this film isn't some distant time in the future when you have loads of free time, when you've learned everything there is to know about animation. You have to make films in order to learn animation. So let's do that, let's make films, and let's do it now. I look forward to your registration and your submissions, and I'll see you over on Discord. Goodbye for now.